Hey guys, and welcome to this update video on fan control. Today, we're going to take a look at fan control update version 9. So what do we got new? First thing, it's a small thing, but I think people will enjoy it. You can now hide your disabled, disabled uh, fan control cards. So let's say you only got two controls activated. You can now hide all the other ones for a cleaner look. Uh, so that's the first feature. Second thing. Uh, after the flat fan curve, the linear and mixed, we now have finally a graph fan curve. Yay! So uh, it works pretty much the same way as the linear. So you got a temperature source and you can you have then a little preview of what your curve looks like and you got your current uh, percent and you got a edit button. So when you click on that, you go into, into the editing window so you can change uh, the name of the fan curve I'm gonna call it graph one and you got the same parameters as the linear so you got a temperature range you got your response time and of course you got your graph so you can left click to add points you can drag them around uh, as you can see the preview in the background uh, changed uh, automatically as you edit your curves so you can also right click to um, remove points and the curve will be flat before your first point and after your last point. So feel free to uh, shape your fan curve however you like. Um, you now can do just that. So I'm going to click OK and I'm just going to change temperature and we can apply it like any other curve so yeah so that's the graph fan curve uh, it has been a lot of work it seems quite simple but trust me there's a tons a ton and tons of work uh, that goes in there so uh, yeah next we got also a new uh, a new other type of fan curve it's the uh, synced fan curve uh, this one is a little bit more niche uh, in its use but what it allows to do is to sync uh, multiple controls together so you can select let's say gpu fan which is this control as a source you can then apply a an offset and you can apply it to another control so that lets you um, sync multiple controls together so if you change your fan curve on your selected control let's say the mass in a master slave situation kind of thing if you change the fan curve on the quote ma uh, master control and then all the slave control will also uh, change fan curves based on the um the one you chose for the master so yeah or you could also have uh, a control disabled but then another software controls it and you can then use that other software fan curve like say you got afterburner or evga precision you can then use that curve for your other um, controls with an offset or however you like um, if you don't need it just don't use it but uh, i got a few people that had specific needs that uh, ask for something like this and this is what i came up for them so yeah so these are uh, the new feature uh, also if you got uh, one of the latest version of fan control uh, it now has automatic uh, updates so like you see here i got the current version but if you don't when you launch the application like if you boot up your computer you, there's going to be uh, that kind of message uh, popping which will uh, let you download the new version it will delete the current one and um, download the new one and reopen it back with your current configuration so yeah so a lot of things uh, a lot of new things for fan control uh, it's still in active development and i got a few more things coming so stay tuned and have a great day goodbye